Hi guys, this is Courtney. Okay, what I'm going to show you right now is how to create a graphic for your website. And um, I'm going to use GIMP to do it. And we're here on the site, and as you can see, we've, uh, in, in fact, this, this uh, header banner here was created in GIMP. And um, I, you know, you need graphics and you need um, stuff for your website. So some, and you can't always find stuff out there. So there's going to be times where you're going to need to create your own. Of course, as I showed you uh, in the course, there are places where you can get your uh, free uh, images. And this is one of the sites I like to use, Wiccans, uh, Wiki, Wikimedia Commons. Of course, you can go out here and find pretty much anything uh, that you're looking for. You just have to dig a little. And make sure when you pick a graphic that you like, always try to get one that's a PNG file because they're already uh, transparent. Another thing to be aware of is if, make sure that the licensing that is public domain, it's Creative Commons, that you can use the, the graphic. And pretty much all the most the graphics in here are, are free. So go out and find something you like and then go ahead and download GIMP because we're going to be using that to create uh, this graphic here. And this is basically kind of like a cover uh, for your videos. And I created this because I you know you'll see videos when they begin you'll you, the, you you pretty much just see this and I don't really want people to see that I want people to see uh, my cover page so I'm going to go ahead and create this within GIMP now I know the dimensions on this are going to be four, six, uh, 465 by about 300 so that's going to be the uh, parameters that I'm going to use to create this very simple graphic and then I'm going to use it as a cover image uh, when I load up my video using the JW player. And of course, how we do that is, a, is another thing that's covered within the course. So go ahead and fire up your, uh, if you haven't already, download and fire up your GIMP. And yours may look a little different, but basically you're going to have your main workspace here. You're going to have a toolbar and then an options uh, bar over here to pick from. So it may look a little different, but it's going to be the same principle. So let's go over here to File. Let's go to New. And like I said, my dimensions are going to be 465. And my height is going to be 300 for the cover to cover my, because that's the dimensions of my video. So go ahead and hit OK on that. And very simply here, we're just going to go in and create uh, something using some graphics, because you're not always going to be able to find what you need. So the first thing you want to do um, is go out and let me pull up my um, images here. Is get your, get the images that you want to use, and we're going to just go ahead and drop them in because we know we're going to be using this one, and then we're going to go ahead and get this other one because we're going to drop that in because we know we're going to be using that. And it looks a little funky right now, but don't worry about it. And as you can see over here, <coughs> excuse me, within your layers, you now have an image here which is your um, which is the PNG file and then we click on the other one and you see that changes as well now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and place these in and get everything organized so I'm going to click on the um, the WordPress logo image and then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to click on my move tool and make sure you have move active layer because we're clicked on the active layer so when we go over here and click we get to move this over and this is a little big for what I want so I'm going to go over here and resize it so go over to your your toolbox where you have your op options and click on the scale and tool and then go back and click on the item and make sure this is locked so that it, it stays in perspective here we're going to make this about uh, 100 so click down there that makes it 100 so we go ahead and center that we click on the move tool again and we just kind of move it into place where we want it okay that's about the size I want now I'm going to go ahead and put some text in so I'm going to click on the, the uh, text tool here I'm just going to click over here and I'm going to go ahead and this is going to be uh, actually we're going to go ORD WordPress and this is going to be um, training or actually tutorials okay I want you to have that in of course you want to as you can see up here it's the color is black so we're gonna go click on that so we can get our color palette 
and we're going to make that a green try to stay consistent with WordPress then we're going to go up here and we're going to make the fonts a little bigger we're just going to make that a little bigger just go over here and grab it kind of move it into place okay a little big so we're just going to back that off a little bit and just kind of position play it with it and get it where you want it and that should be about fine for now let's go ahead and click on our film and it's too big so we're going to resize it so let's go over here and click on our scale tool click on the item and you can pull it in and pull it out we're actually just going to pull it down a little bit like that and you just use this to kind of play with it to get it where you want uh, and like I said you can just kind of see how I'm doing this here by just moving this line around I'm gonna go ahead and hit scale and make and lock that in now I'm gonna rotate it so I'm gonna go over here to this tool here which is your rotate and then you can just click it and just kind of push it up like that so I'm just hit rotate to lock that in click on your move tool once again make sure you're on the right thing just gonna kind of move it into place over here okay now it's a little it's covering that and it's a little dark we're gonna go over here to opacity and tone it down just a little bit as you can see there and then we're gonna click on this and then we're gonna click the down key and move it down once so it's behind okay and actually I'm gonna move I'm gonna take it out make it a little more light okay now we're gonna go click on our text tool again we're gonna just go click right over here and this is going to be our free video section okay we're gonna click on here and move it over and put it right about there and one thing I don't like about this uh, right now is the color so I'm gonna go in here and click on that and I'm gonna turn that red and say okay I also want to change the font so I'm gonna go up here to where my font is I'm gonna click this and I'm gonna go down and I know I like to use Sheriff Sharif and it's, it's a little small there so I'm gonna bring it back up to size if that goes out of bounds you can just pull this over to get it back you see we have the move highlighted so we can go ahead and move in the process now I'm gonna click back over here onto this text and I'm gonna change this one also to I say sheriff or maybe it's Sarif I'm, I don't know and I'm gonna bring that up a little bit just to size and kind of position it to where I like it okay click on the background hit your letter N or M just to kind of see what it looks like and that's pretty decent right now but it could use a little more so let's add a shadow to it let's go up to the text here and we're gonna go up here actually right click on your text so we can get it highlighted and see what it says alpha 2 selection we hit that and it highlights the text that we want to work on so we're going to go to filter and then we're going to give it a shadow light and shadow we're going to go down here to drop shadow that pulls up our script foo script foo you will have to install this so I'll give you a link to that and I'm just going to give it an offset of like 4, 4 and maybe a blur radius of 2 and let's just hit OK that adds a little bit, that's a little too much on the drop there, well that's pretty good so let's just hit select and then none and now we kind of have that now you can see that shadow is a little long there we could undo that or we could click on the shadow itself hit our move tool and then we could actually move that shadow as you can see and position it you know wherever we want you could also hit your up and down key to finely tune where you want to put that okay so that looks good for now and we could do the same with this section but let's give it some background color so we're gonna go over here we're just gonna click on create new layer the dimensions are fine transparency is fine we're gonna hit OK then we're gonna go over here to our palette and we're gonna click on this it's black and white right now we're gonna give this a blue 
and hit OK. Then what we're going to do is apply a gradient. So we're going to go over here to our gradient blend tool. We're going to click on that. Go up here to gradient. Make sure you're on transparent. Foreground to background, transparent. That's where you want to be. Don't worry about any of these. And now we just go over here and we click and drag this line over here and it's going to create that little color there for us. If we want to back it off a little bit, we just hit go to our opacity and let's just back it off just a little bit. You know, we won't we don't want to be too bold there. And that looks good. The last thing I think I'd like to do to this is give this logo a shadow as well, a drop shadow. So let's find our logo and click on it. Right click. We're going to click alpha to selection. So we highlight it, go to filters, and we're going to go light and shadow. And again, we're going to go to drop shadow. Leave these. Actually, I'm going to make this offset about uh, two. And let's give that a one blur radius, hit OK. And it just adds a little bit. Go to select and then none. And it, <clears throat> excuse me, hmm. click on our background just to see it. And there you go. That's a very simple way to make um, your own um, logo. You could do this for um, a header. You could do this for any type of graphic that you need. Uh, this is a very easy and fast way to do it. I think the last thing I'll do is um, do an alpha to selection on this because when you go up here to filters and we'll add a little drop shadow to that as well. Uh, drop shadow just adds a little something to it and then we'll hit select and then none. Now we have a cover image for our uh, videos and when you the last thing that you're going to want to do on this is you're going to want to go to file and then you're going to want to save it as and then name it whatever you want to name it um, you know we'll call this like logo or whatever dot xcf that saves it as your original so if you want to ever go back in here and edit this you'll have all of this still so you can go in and edit it after you save it like that you want to go back in and then you want to save as logo Dot PNG because that makes it transparent and that's basically how you make um, have some images with GIMP. I hope you've enjoyed this and I hope to see you guys in the members area. Check out some of the other videos. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.